Hi, hello everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video to show my color grading process for the Sigma FP footage. Uh, if you never uh, recorded with um, uh, Sigma FP, um, when we record um, clips in the um, in a raw format, um, the camera will store the different clips uh, in different folders in the file system. And if we open any of these folders, uh, we can see that we have several files that are uh, created inside each folder. Um, this happens because the, when we record in a uh, raw format with the same FP, the camera actually stores every single frame into a separated file. So for instance, if we record a um, clip, let's say in 24 frames per second, the camera will save 24 files uh, where each file represents one frame um, from our clip. Um, and apart from that, apart or apart from the DNG files that the camera stores, the camera also stores a WAV file um, with the audio information that the internal microphones uh, record. So if we jump to DaVinci Resolve, uh, we can navigate to the media page, which is by clicking on the button that is on the uh, left side. And in here, I'm just going to expand the file explorer until I reach the folder uh, that contains all my clips and uh, I think by default by default if uh, we open any of these folders uh, we are gonna see our clip um, as multiple files uh, or, or we are, we'll see the multiple DNG files that the camera record but there is actually an option uh, to instruct um, DaVinci result to show us one clip instead of all the different frames uh, for the clip that we have recorded. So if we want to, sh to only um, view um, one, one file that represents this clip, all you need to do is come or click on this uh, three uh, dot button that you have here. And under the fr uh, frame display mode, we can, instead of individual, we need to select sequence. And when you do that, DaVinci will um, show us just one file instead of the multiple frames that the camera records for the clip. So if we want to import the media, uh, all we need to do is just select all the folders that we need to or that we want to import, uh, and just uh, we just need to drag and drop them into the masters the master area here. Um, after that, if we click on the edit page, we can select all the clips that we have dragged before, and I'm just going to drag them into the timeline like this. After that, after all the clips are add that to the timeline all you need to do is um, go to the color page and in here my color grading process is actually <clears throat> very very simple you see that by default the f uh, footage that we import um, looks uh, very flat um, no or very little contrast and saturation is applied to the footage so um, to actually and color grade the, the footage uh, usually what i do is that um under the decode so on the uh, camera hot tab under the decode using option instead of project i'm going to select clip and for the color space instead of hex 709 i'm going to select black magic design and for the gamma i'm going to select black magic design op uh, sorry black magic design film and by default i usually toggle this highlight recovery option here and after that i add three notes and in the first node or on the on the on the node on the left side i drag and drop a color space transform and for the input color space and the input gamma i'm gonna match the options that i've selected for the color space and gamma in the camera hot tab so for the input color space i'm gonna select black magic design film generation one or film gen one and for the input gamma i'm gonna select black magic design film and I'm not gonna touch the uh, output color space or the output gamma. And you can see by, by that by default, if I disable or deactivate this node, um, the this color space transform operation actually uh, applies um, some contrast and some um, saturation to the, to the footage. It looks okay. Uh, to me, it does not look very good. So if we simply convert this to, um, let's say, a hex 709, hex 709 color space, uh, there's probably some color grading process that we need to do manually but usually what I do is that in the second node um, I drag and drop a second color space transform and for the output gamma I'm gonna select the Cineon film log option and then in the last node uh, we can click on the LUTs button on the top left side 
this will bring the um, uh, a folder that contains um, all the LUTs that um, that we have in the um, or that are under the LUTs uh, folder for DaVinci Resolve. And so in here we can select the folder called Film LUTs. And it, typically I either use this Fuji Film LUT or the Kodak 20, 2383. So um, I think for this one we can use the Kodak. It will look okay. And you can see that after applying the LUT, it's like night and day. The footage, at least to my eyes, the, it looks amazing. And after that, I may do um, a little, some little or, or, or minor adjustments um, under the under the camera uh, hot tab to the highlights or to the exposure and to the shadows, but nothing else. So uh, I, I usually like to bring the highlights down as much as possible. Uh, unless I break something in, in the image, so in here you can see that we start to get this weird um, shape of the um, sun hitting the clouds and it gets kind of a weird shape, so uh, setting the lights to the minimum uh, value, which is minus 100, is probably too much, so I'm gonna increase this a little bit until I get more of a uniform look here, something, something like this, and then I may um, adjust, you know, the exposure up or down until I get an image that I like but you know those are like minor adjustments that I typically do um, and after I have uh, footage that I like uh, what I do is that I right click on the footage and I click on this option that says grab still um, then I come to the activate the gallery and my clips window and I select all the other clips and then I just right click on the steel that I grabbed before. So I'm gonna do this for all the other clips that I have in the timeline. And the same grade is gonna be applied to everything. So I'm just gonna close the clips in the gallery now. And then I just, I'm just gonna go uh, through all the other clips that I have here and um, I'm just gonna go you know one by one and I'll see if that is anything that needs to be adjusted. But you know, as you can see, simply by applying so this is the original footage this is the footage just after um, bringing it to um, from the Blackmagic Design Film color space and Blackmagic Design Film Gamma into Hike 709 it looks okay at least to my eyes it does not look very good but after we um, apply film LED to it so after the conversion to the scene and film mode conversion um, and after applying the film LED, um, the footage, um, um, at least to me, it looks fantastic. And this is all that I do. I may adjust the lights, I may adjust a little bit the exposure or the shadows, I may bring them up or down, depending um, on whatever I want to do with the footage, but this is it, I do nothing else. So yeah, this is all I wanted to show, so I hope this is useful to anyone. So yeah, thank you for your time.